I know I throw around game changer a lot as a term, but this is genuinely a game changer. <laughs> Welcome back to the Scale Builders Guild. Thanks again for watching. Today we're taking a look at a new filament that Bamboo Labs is offering called PPACF. And this is typically not a 3D printing channel. It's not something we focus a lot of our attention on here, but it is something that I use an awful lot in this hobby, in this workshop, and it's become pervasive. It's everywhere. It's being used by everyone. Uh, but the hobby space has really embraced it. 3D printing is everywhere. And we used to have to go through a place like the now defunct Shapeways in order to get pieces printed in a higher quality than home FDM printers could offer. Mostly because FDM printers generally aren't super good at making things strong. And in our hobby, there are things that we would love to print like roll cages or bumpers or other structural pieces like wheels that require a certain amount of strength that our old printers could not offer. But now, with the invention of this new PPACF, it's really pushing the envelope of what's possible. And uh, yeah, 3D printing is pretty cool. Like, for example, I 3D printed this new Land Cruiser body, both using FDM and some resin printing as well. But you can see the quality is really, really good. You know, once you do some sanding and smoothing and filling but it gets there and it, it it's great but this is not typically going to be as strong as an injection molded body first of all it has to be put together with a bunch of tiny screws and um, some very heavy solvents in order to even stay together um, this is an abs print so it is certainly better than a pla print it's not going to deform as much under extreme temperature uh, and it is a lot more resistant to uv as well but it's not perfect. There are other stronger filaments, PETG or PLA Tough or PLA CF, which is a carbon fiber base filament, just like the PPA that I'm talking about today. What they all tend to lack in is the extra super strong characteristics of um, metals or industrial grade 3D printed materials. That's where this is really different. And I'm not really good at the, the science of it all, but I am going to, um, give you some lowdown on some of the more interesting talking points. Now this was provided by Bamboo, but I can back it up because I have started printing with it and I'm going to give you some examples of what I've printed with it here in a second. Were you calling me? Oh, I'm recording here. That's okay. I might stay in the video. <laughs> PPACF offers strength approaching metal levels, being 48% stronger and 102% stiffer than normal PA6CF, which is the previous kind of high-end industrial grade printing filament that Bamboo offered. Uh, this filament excels in mechanical properties, making it ideal for high performance engineering applications, perfect for repairs. It can effectively replace automotive and industrial parts with exceptional durability and reliability, which is why I decided to print out a spur gear. We're gonna actually replace the spur gear on this Vanquish VRD carbon. Actually, this is the stance, but it has a carbon chassis now. Uh, with this printed in PPACF spur gear. We're going to take the plastic one off of there and see if this one holds up under some extreme usage. I mean, as extreme as I get, anyway. Its superior dimensional stability ensures your high-precision prototypes match your design drawings exactly without warping or deformation over time, which is also good, especially when you're building boats and you're trying to match pieces from older prints with newer stuff. The whole top part of this hull is printed in PPACF. As you can see, it's black and not red. And I've matched it perfectly to the existing PLA print. And it's very strong, much stronger than the PLA that I started with, I'll tell you that much. We will put that to the test as well. Speaking of boats, uh, the Bamboo PPACF supports long-term stable use in human environments, even underwater which is perfect for a boat. With a moisture absorption rate 66% lower than normal PA6CF, it maintains its stiffness and thermal properties over time. Whether printing propellers, customizing surfboards, or any other water-resistant application, PPACF delivers reliable performance. Wow. 
Um, not only that, it does withstand super high temps as well. So uh, prolonged exposure to temperatures up to 272 degrees Celsius without compromising structural rigidity or performance. So it's pretty robust and pretty useful in a lot of different applications. But what better application than building a bumper with it? Because you want to have something super strong that isn't going to break. You used to have to print these out in PLA or PLA Tough or PATG and just rack that infill up to 100. And even then, you're still not going to get a very strong print. This was just set uh, on the basic uh, settings. I didn't really make any changes. And it is by far the strongest bumper I've ever printed out. I also printed a wheel here. As you can see, there's a 155 wheel. Uh, I got this file off Cults, I think. It's a Toyota Tacoma wheel. I just wanted to see how it would react. Um, and uh, so far, so good. I haven't actually put it to the test. I did put it in the vise to see if I could crush it, and it required a fair bit of effort to uh, get one to deform. Um, yeah, I've got that one actually. Let me see if I can find that one. I put it in the trash. Uh, but you can see, I just managed to nick the edges just along that side there uh, and that side there. And that was from repeatedly throwing it on the ground. Speaking of throwing things on the ground, I did print this cool little ping pong ball. Uh, one of the users on Bamboo's uh, subreddit suggested that I print this out and see how it does. Uh, I've been whipping it at the ground repeatedly, just like you would a regular just like you would a regular everyday ping pong ball. And I can't get it to break. Apparently a lot of people who print these in PLA or PLA Tough don't get this kind of, um, don't get this kind of repeated usage out of a ping pong ball. So that's pretty impressive to me. Oh man, that got some air. <laughs> so as you can see, uh, its strength is what really sets this filament apart. Uh, it will print on a Bamboo X1 Carbon. Uh, you do need the hardened steel nozzle. Uh, 0.4 is the smallest you can go. Uh, but it really is pretty amazing what this filament is capable of. Uh, so why don't we install this spur gear and see if that works. Uh, and then I've also got this skid plate here that I printed out for the uh, Land Cruiser uh, conversion that I'm doing. So we'll get that installed at some point as well. But let's get the spur gear in and see how that does. As you can see, installed, working perfectly. A little bit louder. <laughs> but it's almost as if you're using a metal spur gear and a metal pinion in this case, because this material is so hard. There, when you're crawling, it's very quiet. <laughs> This was really more a test to see if it was durable and we're going to have to put it through its real paces. So we will be taking this outside. Also, in addition to all of these things, we'll also be trying out the new, well, not new, but revitalized also shippy uh, to see how this front end holds up to some uh, rocks and jumping and jet boat shenanigans. So I hope you'll stick around for that as well. Very strong, very robust very usable, very engineering geared printing material. It's pretty impressive. If you've got any questions about this sort of thing or 3D printing in general, by all means, put a comment down below. You know I love reading through your feedback and I try to answer as many of those comments as I can. And of course, I have to thank my channel members. All of you gold level ding-dongs are really making this place great. And there's so much additional content there. If you're interested in behind the scenes, top tips, tricks, weathering techniques, all kinds of things. Trips, I even show where I'm going and who I'm going with. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, there will be a link down below, as well as a link to Bamboo Labs so you can get some of this PPA CF for yourself if it isn't sold out already. It's one thing, of course, to print these things out on the bench and have some mild testing here, but it's really more important to take these things out into the field and see how they perform in a real world environment. So let's go outside.
pretty much brand new. You can see where it's wearing a little bit, uh, but that's um, that's normal. So I'd say that uh, this is a great replacement material. Definitely something I would recommend if you need a part quickly and rather than have it in a prototype filament like PLA or PLA Tough or PLA CF and you need something stronger that's going to be in a sort of a mechanical or a functional or strength piece, this looks like a pretty good one. Uh, we'll probably long-term test this. Uh, I'll just leave it in this truck and every time I take it out, oops, I'll just leave it in this truck and every time I take it out, we'll just see how it does. See how long it takes until it fails in some way. So damage report, um, not too much, just right on the tip, just the tip there. Uh, and that's probably, you know, from a direct hit on that rock over there, uh, but not too shabby. You can see a um, few scrapes on the sides here and on the bottom, of course, a uh, nice divot right there. But the big hit came on the rear here, and this was just PLA tough. So you can see how, uh, this is certainly holding up better than PLA. And this is actually, this is a good experiment, you know, having half of it in PPA CF and half of it in PLA Tough. You do get a good idea of like what this uh, material is capable of and the fact that it uh, will hold up to a lot more um, submersion in water over time is an excellent feature. Let's drive some more.
making itself right itself. I think that's going to do it. Thank you, Bamboo Labs, for the continued support. And of course, to you for watching. We'll see you again soon.